Hi everyone, Petal is blessed here. I'm coming on today to share with you guys some bling candle holders that I would like to make. Yeah, you know me, going around the stores, looking about, seeing something that I like and I say, hey, I'm going to try and make that for myself. <laughs> okay, let me show you what we're going to be using to do our candle holders today. We have these candle holders from the Dollar Tree and I got these from the Salvation Army thrift shop. See, they're a little different than the Dollar Tree candle holders. Yeah, I have two of these and I have three of these from the Dollar Tree. And I got this from the Dollar Tree, the candle plate. And this one I got from Dollarama. And these I got from Dollarama also. But you can find them in the craft store and stuff. I'm sure Michaels and maybe Walmart has them also. And we have our bling wrap. And our gems. And our silver metallic spray from Walmart. All right, and our glue gun, our E6000, you guys, to put it all together. Yeah. <laughs> all right, everyone, let's get started. All right, everyone, we're going to start by E6000 our candlesticks together. Add a little bit of glue gun for extra hold right away. Just center it and place it onto the board. Now we're going to glue the next candlestick onto that one. Again, the E6000 and some of the glue gun. With E6000, it's going to have to set overnight because we need a permanent hold. So. And now we're going to glue the third candlestick holder onto the top part. Number E6000 and a bit of glue gun. You don't have to use the glue gun if you don't want to, but make sure you use the E6000 so we get the permanent hold. And remember it has to set overnight for 24 hours. And now we're going to do the same thing with the other two candle holders. The ones that I got from the thrift store. Same thing, E6000, glue gun, center them, place them down, and we'll have them set overnight for 24 hours, you guys. So they're really firm and ready to work with. And now we're going to add our trays to the top, the candle trays, to the top of our candle holders to finish the look. <laughs> Again, use our E6000 and we're going to glue them together. And here we go, adding the E6000. Then we're going to add the plate and glue them together, you guys. And here's how they look. I changed the spray paint from silver to gold. And this is how they look now. And now we're going to bling them out. I think they look nice in the gold. All right, everyone, we're going to take our bling wrap and glue it all around to hide the imperfections where we join the candle holders together. And now we're just going to take our double strip and go around the, the bigger part of the bottom where the candle holders are joined together, you guys. And here we go, you guys, our blinked out candle holders. I just love them. The ones I saw in the store were gold, 
but I was going to put them in silver. And then I changed my mind and said, you know what, let me put it in the gold. Like how I saw it, that's how I wanted it done. And I'm glad I did because they turned out very nice. All right, you guys, I like the added bling that I added in there. The two candle holders I saw did not have bling on them. But you know, for me, I have to have some bling. I just love it. So I'm glad I added the bling because it looks very nice. And it hides the imperfections of where the candle holders were joined with the glue, you know, and all that. So I think they look very nice. And here's one way that you can decorate them with the candle holders on top. And you can also just have the candlesticks on top. Blinged out candlesticks. <laughs> and this one is my favorite look. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thank you. And I hope I've inspired you a lot with another blinked out candle holders decor for your home. And thank you for coming on and seeing the DIY that I had for today. And remember as always, stay blessed from Petal is Bliss. <laughs> bye bye everyone.